We've had a lot of successes over the years in our garden, but we certainly have had more failures and more mistakes. So today's video we want to share with you some of the top things that we screwed up on so that hopefully if you are just starting a garden or if you are a seasoned gardener yourself, you don't screw up like we did. Yeah. That's putting it nicely, I think. Yeah. Alright, here we go. So the first mistake that we made was when we built our garden, we way underestimated how much space we thought we would need. Around us here is about a thousand square foot of fenced off area and we have 24 four by four boxes. And us as rookies, we thought that would be fine. We won't ever outgrow that. And by year two, we were already outgrowing that. So this year we had to build a couple boxes on the exteriors. We built some cold frames just to fit our needs for growing. And we know that in the future that we're gonna expand even more. So if you are in the planning phase of your garden, go way bigger than you would expect, in my opinion. If you're gonna be doing a fenced in garden, if you're just doing in the ground and you have the space to grow, grow with the garden, that's totally fine. But if you know that you're doing a fenced in, especially one um, that requires a little bit more resources like the one that we built, go bigger than you expect and your future self will thank you. So the second mistake we made was just starting with any old soil. So originally we had planned to do like a nice soil recipe that would be sterile and not have any weeds in it, but our very nice neighbor offered to give us some of the soil that he just had in his yard, which at the time we were very grateful for, but now um, we are paying for that because there are so many weeds in our garden. It kind of looks like trash this year. So we have learned that it's really important to start with good quality sterile soil that you know, doesn't come with a bunch of weed seeds in it already because the first year was fine with the soil that we got, um, but the second and third year, we have been struggling with weeds as they kind of have sprouted up. Um, and so we are just weeding our butts off this year. <laughs> what does it look like to weed your butt off? You know, uh, like this. You saying I have no butt? You don't have a butt. Oh. The third mistake that we made, and I think this is one of the most important things, is our first couple of years, we just went, in my opinion, way over the top with some of the experimental vegetables that we grew. That might have been my fault. I got very excited about the rainbow carrots and the purple tomatoes and... <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm definitely not going to take credit for that one, so... But, um, <laughs> so we definitely were more experimental with some of the produce and the vegetables that we grew instead of really growing what we liked yeah. what we were confident in that we could grow um, and that grew well in the area that we we're in and that so, we'd be able to preserve well you yes. know some things just like don't grow very prolifically and so for the whole point of being self-sufficient we want things that are going to be able to be preserved well or be abundant that we can store well things like potatoes instead of just like red lettuce that you can eat for a season and not store you know yeah. we grew so much stuff too that we just like didn't like yeah because i think it looked cool or i, I don't know so this year we we definitely stripped things way back and went with more of the basics the things that we know we're going to eat the things that we know will preserve well over time and um yeah we'll be hopefully better off for it but third mistake that we made that hopefully you don't make is start slow with your varieties no, really lock in a few that are awesome, that you like to eat, that are good, easy to grow, and then expand from there versus the inverse of trying to grow everything and then reducing down. <laughs> Side mistake, have a garden buddy at all times. Safety first. So the next mistake that we made and we're going to be paying for it next year is when we built our garden beds, we used probably the wrong material for it. What we ended up doing initially was we used cedar fence planks and this was something that I had seen online and it looked like a great way to save money and so we're like awesome, you know, each post is only a few bucks. We'll be able to build all of the beds for, you know, under 200 bucks or whatever it was and now we're into the third season and some of them are already falling apart and kind of decomposing and breaking off and i know next year we're definitely going to need to either replace them all build new beds um, 
but some of them they're just not going to last until next year which is a bummer and so the fourth mistake is if you're building raised beds I think it's worth it to spend the money to get some really thick solid wood to start um, or whatever material uh, spend the money you know hopefully they'll last for more than three years unlike ours and if you do that you won't run into this mistake because the last mistake that we made with our garden doesn't necessarily even have to do with the structure or the plants per se, but actually has to do with us as gardeners. One of the biggest, if not the biggest mistake that we made, especially in the first couple of years, is just our effort and our consistency with gardening. I think a thriving garden, I think a garden that really produces, requires the consistency of the gardener. And that means every single day coming out, watering, weeding, pruning when the time is right, really putting care and effort into the garden is I think what's going to be the biggest payoff with every garden. Now, of course, life happens and if you miss a day or two or you go on vacation, whatever, your, your garden's still gonna be okay. But I definitely can say that when we put in more effort, we get more from the garden. You get. What you put in. So the fifth and final mistake that we made that we're working on every single day is consistency in the garden. Consistency doing the things that's going to make your plants, your vegetables thrive and thank you. Thank you guys so much for watching. This is a short list of the mistakes we've made and the list could go on and on and on but we believe that these are some of the top mistakes or top things to think about if you're starting a garden or wherever you're at in your gardening journey. What do you think, Goose? Huh? Do we hit them all? All right, thanks again for watching. My name is Austin. <laughs> I'm Sarah, and this is Gus. And this is the Cypress and Sparrow Homestead. We'll see you in the next video. Peace. Oh, are you doing it? Do the peace sign. Do it. Do it. Do it. Do it. No, don't flick off the camera. <laughs>